it's no secret that Donald Trump has had a lot on his mind lately. With the 2024 election looming, he's been juggling a variety of issues, both within his campaign and on the broader political stage. But out of everything that's happening right now, there's one thing in particular that seems to be getting under his skin more than anything else the Democratic National Convention. And CNN revealed last night the one thing that is annoying Trump the most about the DNC. Trump has always been someone who thrives on control. Control of the narrative, control of his image, and control of the message. So it's no surprise that when something disrupts that control, it drives him absolutely nuts. And the Democrats have found exactly the right button to push to get Donald Trump riled up. Now you might be wondering, what could possibly be so irritating to Trump that it's becoming a major issue for him and his campaign? Well, that's exactly what we're going to find out today. And it's something that has been a reoccurring theme throughout the DNC, and it's hitting Trump where it hurts the most. But before we dive into that, let's take a moment to consider the broader context. The Democratic National Convention is a carefully orchestrated event designed to set the stage for the party's messaging and strategy going into the next election. Every speech, every panel, and every soundbite is meticulously planned to have maximum impact. And this year, the Democrats have zoned in on something that they know will get under Trump's skin and it's working. So what is this one thing that's annoying Trump the most about the DNC? Well, I'm gonna show you a clip from CNN and you'll see exactly what that is. So take a look at this. And obviously, you know, we've all been watching this convention very closely. I can tell you that also the former president has been also watching very closely. He just posted an incredibly lengthy Truth Social post a few moments ago, ranting about the speech you heard on stage tonight from the Pennsylvania governor, Josh Shapiro. He was saying that, that even though Trump is claiming he is the best friend of Israel, and saying that Vice President Harris hates Israel, even though just last night, about 24 hours ago on that stage, we were listening to her Jewish husband, Doug Imhoff, talk about how she makes brisket for them on Shabbat. But what it really does tell you, Anderson, regardless of, of what Trump said in that post, is that he is watching this convention just as closely as everyone else. And one thing that I'm told that has irked him and his campaign are the constant references that you've seen almost every day of this convention to Project 2025. You saw uh, one of a state senator from Michigan brought out an entire book that she had supersized about the pro proposals from the Heritage Foundation. We saw it referenced tonight by Kenan Thompson, the SNL star, as he was making fun of what a second Trump term would look like. Trump has repeatedly tried to distance himself from Project 2025, even though dozens of his, his former staffers uh, helped and played a big role in crafting it. But they have been watching very closely. They're irritated by that and also just watching to see the enthusiasm, the excitement uh, that has been generated by this convention about a month after his own convention, yeah. Anderson. Uh, so now that you've seen that clip, it's clear just how much this is affecting Donald Trump. In that Truth Social post, you could see the irritation. And it's probably not just Trump who's feeling it. His entire campaign is likely on edge as this is not a good look for them. The DNC's decision to focus on Project 2025 has clearly struck a nerve and the ripple effects could be significant as we head deeper into the 2024 race. What's really interesting here is how this could play out moving forward. Trump's campaign thrives on the ability to stay on message and control the narrative, but this issue is pulling him off course. If the Democrats keep hammering into Project 2025, it could force Trump to spend valuable time and energy addressing it, time that could be better spent rallying his base or attacking his opponents. In the end, this irritation is going to cause Trump to become more and more unstable. And as we've seen in the past, when Trump is irritated and unstable, he's way more likely to make mistakes, lash out, or double down on risky moves. The Democrats know this, and they're clearly hoping that by keeping the pressure on, they can push Trump into making a misstep that could cost him dearly in the election. So as we move forward, keep an eye on how this issue evolves. Will Trump be able to to shake it off and regain control, or will the Democrats succeed in keeping him on the defensive? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure, this is far from over.